Today, Tiffany and other young people benefit from Pierre's comprehensive treatment and support. Hi, Roxanne. Hi, Jeff. I'm here to see Sarah. Okay. And and they just make sure I'm taking my medication. I see Nurse Ed, I see Dr. Meyer, and they just are wondering how I'm doing. You know, like how am I feeling? What are any side effects? Like, you know. I talk to Sarah about, you know, anything personal. She's kind of like my counselor, you know. She's just there for me. It's been up and down, but nothing to be worried about. Yeah, what would those stressors be that are going on this month? Um. Family issues, um, relationship issues, pretty much that type of thing. Yeah. Um, a lot of the treatment we offer to people is designed to stop the symptoms as quickly as possible. We intervene at the brain level with medication. We work with the family to change the immediate psychosocial environment. We work with the school to alter the educational program so the person can stay in school. Tiffany was able to get back on track and stay in school. Today, she is considering a career in nursing. I started going to exercise more. I did much better in my classes. And then I was starting to realize, well, hey, you know, I'm doing much better and I'm feeling great. You know, not great, great, but I'm feeling much, much better. I would say that she's much more spontaneous much more social. She's pledging a sorority and she's taking tennis and she is wanting to go out to social events at school, which is very different from how she was. Have you had the feeling that she might not actually exist? No. I feel that we did really stave off a psychotic episode for her. And I think the important thing also is that we've continued to monitor those symptoms and she knows what those warning signs are for her. The Denisons are a warm, loving family who support each other and enjoy spending time together. But they were not prepared for the day when their world turned upside down. Six years ago, their daughter, a vivacious, outgoing 14-year-old, began to experience sudden, mysterious, and terrifying behaviors. Megan was having a difficult time speaking, um, let alone functioning. She was uh, paranoid, um, felt like uh, people were watching her. I didn't feel like going to the mall or hanging out with my friends. I couldn't really talk, actually. I just went through myself. We were scared. We, we didn't know what was wrong. We had a, a serious problems. We needed help. Faced with the biggest challenge of their lives, the Denisons turned to their pediatrician, who referred them to Peer. They immediately received help, including individual and family counseling. The Peer program is unique because it involves a very close working relationship with the young person and with their family. How's the math class? <laughs> Good. As clinicians, we understand treatments, we know how to do therapy. However, Experience has taught us that families have a vast amount of power and knowledge about who they are, what works in their family, and also have great influence over each other. Family involvement is central to the peer prevention effort. It not only helps maintain family functioning, it teaches families how to buffer children from unwanted stresses that might impact their recovery effort. We had kind of talked about and agreed that he'd pretty much go to school close by and now he's thinking he might want to go away to school. Half of all peer clients participate in multi-family group meetings or MFGs. I really want to get a good job so I want to find a college that will really give me background experience. It's not that I don't want my kids to go away to mm -hmm. school but I feel like with his disability it's going to be a lot for him. We don't want him to fail, you We're know. Failing. We've had a couple failures that, that turned out to be excellent successes in the long run. That was my, one of my major concerns for Harlan, and we made the decision for him to try out the summer program, and that was our...
There's a lot of cross-parenting that happens, and it's kind of a beautiful thing to watch. You can't have that kind of impact with a, with a single family in your office. Let's make that into a suggestion. What can they do in the interim to improve or increase their confidence about his ability to be independent? MFGs take a incredibly complex and challenging situation and reduce it down to very practical, pragmatic, problem-solving and incremental steps that guide a family and individual through this process of recovery. <laughs> the Denisons participated in the multifamily group for five years. Not only did I make friends, but it was comforting to see other families going through the same thing. And it gave us tools to deal with not only the children's issues, but with our own issues as parents, um, and helped us get through probably the worst, the worst time of our lives. The PEER program offers hope to Portland families during their darkest hours. Thanks to a steady stream of referrals and clients' willingness to be a part of this pioneering program, many promising young lives are protected and restored. The effectiveness of the program is something we're studying, but at the moment, um, what we do know is there are many, many fewer young people going to the hospital in the Portland area with schizophrenia or psychotic episodes. According to preliminary data, 86% of peer clients have avoided having a psychotic episode, and only 6% have developed schizophrenia. Building on these positive outcomes, the peer program is now expanding to help young people in other communities around the country. The Robert Wood Johnson Foundation has committed more than $14 million to support the development of new sites in Queens and Long Island, New York, Ann Arbor, Michigan, Sacramento, California, and Salem, Oregon. The peer program has really brought back the me. I call my period now back to Tiffany. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I want to do, but I know that I'm going to be okay, so that's really all that really matters. The early intervention that she received, the early treatment, I truly believed has prevented her from having a major mental illness. It was a miracle that the program was here. I'm just so thankful that it was and grateful for what they did for her family and gave us our daughter back. Hello, buddy. Oh. She is just a vibrant, beautiful young woman who is living her life and I have no doubt that she will just be all that she can be.